Buildship is a low-code visual backend building platform that lets you create APIs, schedule jobs, backend tasks easily and instantly right from the browser. Let's see how. Once you sign into Buildship, you will get a project in which you can start creating your workflows. First, you simply add a trigger. This is the starting point for your workflow. It can be an API call, a scheduled job, and many more that are coming. Also, you can start with one of these templates that we have for the most common use cases. Let's say you want to build a meditation audio generation app. So let's click that and you'll get a bunch of nodes where that you simply need to plug in the API key and you'll be good to go. Here we have an OpenAI text generation one where you just need to add your OpenAI secret. Your secrets get stored securely in the Google Cloud Secret Manager. And once you add the key, you're ready to ship and immediately get this entire template for a specific use case deployed and ready to use in your apps. Now, instead of a template, if you want to start from scratch, let's see how that works. Create an API call and we can use get post or any type of request. Let me give this a name, call this web scraper. So I'm going to do this where given a URL, I want to scrape all the contents of it. Now we have tons of nodes that are pre-built that you can use, or you can actually create one with AI by simply asking, given a URL, give me the scraped contents of the website in JSON format. So when you click generate, it creates a node for you. While that's happening, it takes about a few seconds. We can actually also explore some of the pre-existing nodes that we have. So we have connectors to different databases, third-party tools, connectors to popular APIs. So for example, if you want to use something from the Replicate ecosystem, you can do so by selecting that and looking at some of the options that are available. You can also pop in any API key, NPM packages that you want to use and AI generates a node for you. While we were talking, this node got generated. The good thing is none of this is a black box. You can actually go into the code of everything that got generated and tweak it and test it. Let me take the blog that we have recently written and add that as a URL and click test node. You can see that it came back with a response, which is basically all the contents from the website. So this node looks good to go. So we can actually go back here and continue building our workflow. Obviously, you don't want to hard code one blog. So what you can do is get the value from the incoming request, pass it to the next node, use the contents of this to pass it to the next node and so on by using this context menu. Here you can see the incoming request has query, body and headers. You can also use the expression editor that is available right here. So let me go ahead and pick up the incoming query parameter and URL so that from the incoming request, you can pass the link that you want to scrape. Now you want to return the value that got scraped. So simply add a return node and make that a status OK 200. And you can use the data that got scraped and return that back. And we have a bunch of core nodes that also allows you to branch, loop, do things in parallel. So essentially, there's no limit to what you can build. You can build your logic this way, step by step, pass value from one to another. And when you're ready, simply click ship. And it gives you a API that is easy to copy and start using in your front-end applications that you build, either with a no-code builder or a front-end framework like Next.js, React, and so on. Now, I can go here, use this endpoint, add the URL parameter, and copy over this blog key and paste that in. This is how you would actually call in your app. The response is here, you get the complete HTML. So the good thing is, if you want to change the logic any way you want, you can use the help of AI to tweak the logic. So you can say, take two URLs and scrape both the content. So instead of one, if you want to do multiple things, URL one, URL two, you can do that. So let's just wait a second and see what it says. There you go. It gave you two options now. You can actually go look at the parameters here. You can also tweak the output. You can add any node in between, add more steps, expand this any way you like, tweak the logic. You have all the tools like a developer would with version control, logging, 
and it's fully scalable on Google Cloud. Billship lets you build your ideas exactly the way you want with the ease of no code and the power of Google Cloud and AI. That's it for now. I'd love to get your feedback on this. Thank you.